Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's a couple minutes after seven, so we're going to go ahead and get this ball rolling. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Tyler Kilo Quebec for Quebec Echo Victor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call the uh, meeting to order and have our secretary do a roll call, please. Thank you, Mr. Vice President Joe Plum. Vice President Tyler Beardley. Present. Treasurer Jim Martin. Here. Secretary Perry Hayes, Present. Director of Programs John Reiners. Here. Director of Training Joe Lowe. Here. Computer Trustee Dan Fleet. Here. And Director of Publications Mike Harrison. He's here. He's here. Public Information Officer Adam White. Meeting Task President Ty McMain. That's our role, Mr. Vice President. We do have a form. Ty Adam, Director of Programs here at the Special Events. I guess. All right. Well, thank you for that. Also, uh, I am by no means the greatest at Robert Jules of Order, so if I do something out of line, just like nod at me like, hey, that's not right. And I'll be like, okay, you're going to have to walk through that. So, uh, welcome. So, uh, tonight's introductory activity, uh, we're going to take about five minutes. A lot of you sit at tables that you know everybody, or at least you think you know everybody. Go around that table, and at the end, when I come back up here, uh, have the longest ham licensed individual stand up and say how long they've been licensed, and have the shortest amount of time a person stand up and how long they've been licensed. So take a couple minutes, learn something new about the people that you sit with every week. If you're twins, you can't say, you know who you are. <laughs> All right, take a couple minutes and, and get to know each other. Too much. Bet you're the shortest. Well, they don't have his yet. Does he count? <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I've been licensed. A year and a year and four months. I'm licensed here. All right, I'm the old. All right, 2013. No, Jerry, next one is general. That's a great job, Jerry. We've got a lot of work on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Winter, I started a few times from home. There's not a lot, there's you know, not as many people do it as the other field days, so it's, it's a better one you know, for your first one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, yes, yeah, always hot and rain. Yeah. Yeah. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I met him outside the door two and a half hours ago. <laughs> All right. This is the red twin table. All right. All right. Um, he's been a ham for 11 years. And a little over a month. Yeah. A little over a month. There you go. Welcome. <laughs> Seven. 
Thanksgiving and then go into two uh, uh, Thursdays in uh, December. Uh, if anybody's interested in getting their general class license that has, that's a tech, more than happy to uh, have them sign up if you'll send an email with the name, email address, and cell phone to wa4ovo at gmail.com. I'll be glad to have you on the list. Uh, then we'll probably have an extra class license starting in the Jan first week of January. Um, as long as, uh, yeah, first week of January. Also, I've gone around to some, but I've got a card for Pat Lane. If you want to sign the card for Pat, I'll have it here when we take a break. Okay. Is, is there a minimum number you need in that general class? Uh, need six. Need six. All right. Halfway there. Right. Got tech, and you're thinking about going to general, just go ahead and do it. All right. Um, we will do. Mr. Fleet, do you want to do yours when you do? Do you have anything new? Uh, or do we. I can't remember what Joe was saying. I think I'm kind of pushed to the end. You're next. Never mind. And then who do I have? Oh, that's it. There. All right. Uh, committee reports. Uh, nominations committee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, no more. No more. That's right. Can I ask Josh and Don to join me up here just for a minute? Josh and Don and I were appointed uh, by Joe Plunk as a nominating committee. Our job is every October to prepare a slate of candidates for the elections at the November meeting. What we've done is we've gone through, we've prepared a slate of 
officers to present to you for the elections next month. I'm just going to run through briefly the requirements for running for the Delta Club Board of Directors basically are that you're a member in good standing. That means that you've paid your dues, very important. Uh, that you're a licensed, you have an active uh, ham radio license, and also that you don't have any uh, disciplinary matters uh, before the club. There's also a requirement for directors that you have attended at least six of the past 12 Delta Club membership meetings. I'm happy to report that everybody on our slate uh, meets all the requirements to be uh, elected for office. Uh, Tyler is running for re-election as vice president and Tyler did not have the six meetings necessary this year because he was away from us for two months uh, serving actively in the military. So the board of directors uh, held a vote and we voted unanimously last Tuesday at our board meeting to give Tyler credit uh, for attending two meetings uh, because he was off uh, serving our country uh, doing his military service. So I'm happy to report that the entire slate meets all the requirements and these are the folks that we are presenting to you and officially nominating uh, for elections next month. For president we are nominating Joe Plunk, November Sierra 4 Echo, for Vice President, we are nominating Tyler Henley, KQ4 QEV. For Treasurer, we are nominating Jim Martin, KD4 FUU. For Director of Training, we are nominating Joe Lowenthal, WA4 OBO. Somebody want it? <laughs> uh, nice try. Nice try. Keep doing it till you get it right. <laughs> Some of these are grudgingly, but uh, for uh, Director of Meetings and Special Events, we're nominating Scott Adams, KM4PMU. For Director of Programs, John Reiners is leading the board after many years of distinguished service. Thank you, John, for all you've done on the Board of Directors. In that vacancy for Director of Programs, we are nominating Adam White, Kilo 4 Sierra Papa Bravo. We're reluctantly nominating Perry Hayes, November 4, Golf Juliet, as our secretary for next year. Mike Harrison is our director of publications. Is there anyone else that's interested in serving as our director of publications? Anyone? You got a mic? Anyone? All right. Mike has graciously uh, agreed to help the club and to stay on as director of publications, but he did want me to mention if anybody's interested in that position, um, please see Mike. He's very interested in maybe training up someone to take his place and to rotate off of the board. So if you're interested in that, um, the biggest items for director of publications are our website and our Sparks newsletter. I know you do other things as well, Mike, but those are the main things. So if you look at our website or read Sparks or are interested in doing that, uh, please contact Mike. He would love to show you the ropes and uh, show you how that works with the thought of maybe rotating off uh, in the future. Is there anyone else that would like to be placed in nomination for any of our board positions? All right, well, that's all I have for you. Uh, these folks are now in nomination. Like I said, our elections will be held at the next meeting. I would like to thank Josh and Don um, for all their work on the nominations committee. And that is our report. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Hey, I wasn't going to raise my hand and say anything when you were asking if anybody else wanted to do anything, but listening to those names, I know that... All of those have been on there for several years, so the fact that you know there th th this is you know a good opportunity if you're interested in something, you know, you know, get with the person that's in the position that you're wanting to do, and 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 you know, start learning about it and see what's going on because you know we're 
I know that Joe's been doing it for a long time, uh, but you know, we've, we've got almost every one of those, you know, were on the board. I know when I was on it, and that was four or five years ago. So we are getting some of these people that are probably about ready to rotate out. So you know, let's not wait until you know the end of the year next year, and then you know not have people you know lined up to take to fill in the position. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. You know, we're 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 fortunate that all these people are wanting to keep going, but <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah, it, it, I, I can I can testify to that. You know, it's just uh, well. I mean, if nothing else, you know, you just it gets to the point where you you know you just gotta uh, free up some some time. You know, but uh, so please you know consider that and get with anybody that you're interested in doing something throughout the year. You know, so uh, it, it's it's going to be needed. You running against him? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's your help right there. No. Like speech to me. Campaign speech. Um, all righty. The next one is our repeater committee report, which will also be tied in with old business. Uh, Mr. Fleet, the floor is yours. Yay. First of all, I uh, just wanted to thank people for their uh, their conduct on the repeater. Over just, I, I listen. I listen a lot. Uh, everybody is very friendly to others and newcomers and people driving through. Uh, I heard over the weekend somebody said they listened to the repeater because they wanted somebody, if they were driving through, to get an answer. And I don't can't remember his call sign, but if you're out there, I really appreciate that. Um, so listen to the repeater, greet others. Um, so my takeaway from the last meeting was hard numbers. Um, I had some difficulty with their local person. So I was like, well, I gotta get some answers. So I called North Georgia Communications. They are a ham friendly uh, a Motorola dealer. And when I say ham friendly, uh, the guy that you call is a ham and I was treated just like a professional customer. So it was, it was awesome. I got the numbers. Uh, I sent an email about an hour ago, we got a reply back. They're, they're very um, re uh, responsive. Uh, so a, we priced out the Motorola SLR 5700, uh, brand new, 3570. Uh, they have uh, plus shipping, which is probably about 50 bucks. And they are in stock. Uh, they're not a lot of places have them in stock. They're hard to get, but they sell sorry, they sell a lot of them, so they keep them in stock. They have a five-year warranty. They they help you if you got questions, and they help you set up the Motorola account, which is kind of a pain in pain in the side because Motorola drags their feet in getting things approved. Um, they're no had a Lowenthal had a question. We were looking at doing a new one because it does come with the full five year warranty. Uh, there there is an option for used. The used is twenty nine ninety five. The warranty on that is going to be ninety days minimum. If the repeater that they have is um, like three years old, then it's got two years left of the warranty and we would get that. So that's an option to save a few hundred bucks, but uh, that's... But it's made to factory specs. Yes, uh, they, uh, North Georgia, when they get it 
So it's a repeater they've sold and they've gotten back on either trading or whatever. And they do do a factory alignment on it. And it's not like buying from eBay. If they ship it to you and it doesn't work, they'll work with you. Um, so that's one option. Uh, sorry, I did not add this number up. Uh, next page, and we'll go back to the first one. Uh, Internet access, uh, T-Mobile nonprofit. I've got the Joe Plum and I've got the link for it for ten dollars a month. Uh, we are missing some paperwork that we are working on trying to get the IRS. I don't know. It's a little tough to get a hold of. <laughs> I know you're all are shocked. The government is inefficient, but uh, we have to, we need a copy of our IRS attestation. Now you think, why don't we have that? Well, we probably had it 20 years ago and transitioned from one treasurer to another. I mean, we're fully legal. We file our 990 ins every year. Uh, but this is a letter that says, hey, we are officially a 901c3 as uh, sanctioned by the IRS. So if you go out on their website, and uh, if you're a 2014 or newer organization, print it right off the website. We're an older club, so we have to send a form in and get it. So we're working on that. When we do that, we can turn around and file uh, with the state to get tax exemption, which we, we don't have. And that, what that means is we don't, we buy something, we don't have to pay sales tax. And so when we do the subscription now, so that's what they want, we're working on it. Uh, the alternative right now would be $25 a month for something like a straight talk, um, prepaid until we can get uh, we can get it. And we can use it for remote access to the 146.82. And, and what I mean by that is just remote power on, power off. We, we haven't had remote control since we disbanded the uh, telephone in the early 2000s. Um, and there's a whole other thing going down the road on that that will probably come across in a couple of months. So, so that's going to be $263 for a modem, and then either $25 for a while, $10 until we can get our paperwork all filed with the T Motor. Uh, that is what um, that is what Alan and Michael over in Marion used. But they have it $10. Bucks. Michael, I think, used it for a while as the uh, gateway or some other stuff. So, I would... Are they going to charge a sales tax on this if we order? Good question. Uh, no, they will not charge a sales tax. I asked that. So, that was kind of the thing. If they were going to charge a sales tax, then we were going to wait until we got all the paperwork filed. Between that and the amplifier, it'd be $500 with the sales tax that we're trying to avoid. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we purchase, make the, uh, the out of budget purchase of a DMR repeater uh, not to exceed uh, $3,650. That would include the shipping. Including the shipping, yeah. I still have a question on one thing that was up there about the hotspot. Yes. Can you get two of them and use one for club meetings so that you could show a YouTube on the screen here with a hotspot? And also you might could use it at field day for something. Can you get two hotspots for a club? Because um, $10 a month is not that much, so $20 one to run the repeaters and one for the club to use for different things like that. We, we can, uh, yeah, I I don't know, but we can ask. 
I just think that would be a big help, like for people doing meetings, I mean doing programs, if there's something on the internet that they could show, if they had a hotspot, they could use it. There is internet connection here. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we may, more not, than yeah, we may not be here all, all the time. And we don't yeah. hold field day here, so yeah. if right. we wanted yeah. to do something field day. No, that's a good idea to look into. Uh, we'll look into it. Why don't, why don't we look at this? Get the used repeater, and that will give us the money for the hot spot. <clears throat> Yeah. We got a lot of money, but it was hard earned, and I was one of the ones that hard earned it, and that's why I'm trying to, you know, be cautious. Uh, I remember the day when we had about four thousand dollars in the in the in the but in the budget in uh, 2009, and it, we struggled because we were paying a thousand dollars a year. On a phone pad, on phone patches. So uh, I'm not against it. It's just I don't particularly is is with the company doing a 90 day warranty and it might have another warranty on it. Uh, I don't see why we need to have a brand new repeater. Uh, but one of one of the issues, when, even though they brought it back to factory specs. You don't know how much that thing has been stretched, and they can go any time. Well, say if you got the warranty, it for five or more warranties, it seems like a good value. Uh, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Yeah. But I, 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 I'm just making my hand. You know, hey, we got the money, we've had it. Well, if we get a used one, we break it, we have the money to buy another one. Yeah, but you're not paying that much for that five year warranty there with the new one, so. Take a vote. Um, well, that's a, that could be a good vote. Well, motion's been called. We got, yeah, we got a second. Did we get a second? I second. Are we voting on a new one or a used one with this motion? It was a new one, there was a vote. Call a vote. All in favor? Uh, I, 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 I need to go on for the amplifier. Uh, 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 yeah, it approved. Yeah, the, the amplifier is approved. Uh, <coughs> the some of it it's gonna be a little bit more than we planned because uh, like I say Local dudes not calling me back. The uh, North Georgia, we were looking at going with the used repeater with them uh, since. For you mean you use amplifier? Am or use amplifier since it's a, it's a simpler device. Uh, it's going to be up to a 90 day warranty. Um, they've had pretty good luck with it. It is a percent like we were going to buy, uh, and it is a factory refurbished chrome percent. So uh, the factory tunes it, uh, certifies it. So they, they have those, it's like 1635. I think it's $100 more than the new one that we were looking at at dealer cost. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable in going with the used uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Sorry. Any, you need a repeater. Sir. Yeah. The amplifier is the H2 repeater, is that correct? Or no, it's, that it's, it's going to be for the DMR repeater. I mean, what's the output of the repeater? Uh, the repeater outputs 50 watts, and this is going to be uh, up to 100 watt out. We need 100 watt. It's digital. It ought to go long ways. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Look at me. 
So, <laughs> well, since, since, it's, since it's for the DMR and we're going to get the DMR, could we not see how the coverage is the way that it is and see if we need to add an amplifier? What's, could, could we do that? Yeah, I, I amen that. Um, I'm, just, I'm just throwing that out there. Good idea, sir. The, so the loss on the repeater coax is about... 7 dB. Uh, some of it was overcoming that. Um, but the pictures that I saw, it's a dB 420, so it's about 11 dB gain. Uh, these are all theoretical. Uh, that is an option to wait and see how well the uh, 50 watt repeater does. The only other thing is, though, is I have, I don't have a temporary 100 watt repeater to throw in there and see the difference. So I, I think that's, but, Barry? Uh, did the club already approve purchasing the amplifier back in April? Yeah, yes, we extended the budget for that. Is this a, uh, a two meter or a 440 uh, amplifier? 440. <clears throat> All right. Um, and how much did you say it was going to cost? Or 1635. 1635 for a 100 watt amplifier? Yeah. All right. That seems kind of high for a 100 watt amplifier. Uh, like I'm, I'm looking right here on the DX Engineering website. It looks like you can get 100 watt uh, UHF amplifiers. Like here's an 80 watt one for 269. Is um, this one like a commercial grade one or something? Uh, yeah, the 269. That's uh, what's the brand on that? Like a Mirage. Are in Italy? Yeah. Uh, those are. Uh, those are like 30 to 50 percent duty cycle, and uh, they will burn up. Uh, I get it. <laughs> uh, in fact, I think we already burned one up uh, on the uh, 443 dot right before we approved the. Yeah, we have approved. Um, what is the? You say the five-year warranty. Is that you know many times that's broken down? Or if I guess more fuzzy feeling, like five years ain't got to do anything. But is that parts, labor? Shipping, whether it's all that include or not include? Uh, it's going to cover parts and labor. Uh, sure, usually it's one year labor and then your five years parts. I'm just asking. I'm uh, I would just state five year warranty, so I would state it like a, a different. It's, it's very common that they break that stuff down. Um, what's actually the, well, 50 watts work. Um, we, we actually kind of have a little bit of an answer to that potentially. So the uh, DR we had a DR1X on 443.7 and burned it up running at 50 watts because the uh, 1X was not designed very well for heat dissipation and uh, it burned up. The DR2X is uh, a lot better designed so I cranked it up to 50 watts. It's been holding up. Uh, I dropped the swells a little bit, so 443.7. Uh, we need to try and see what the coverage is on it, and if that's an adequate coverage. 
I've done some handheld tests, getting out of my car. Uh, I've been to Tipton County, uh, Bunford. I've been to Hickory Whip, stood out with an HD, and I can get in fine. I, I have a, a laptop at my house connected to a scanner that I can record the audio. So I send out a test transmission and then go back and check it. Um, but I don't have any other real world mobile use. So that would be something that I would need help with and let you really see what we have. I call for the question. Okay. Let's vote. Can. So hey, to help you guys out, so because um, I know you're stepping in today, Tyler. Uh, you, as your chair position, had to, you know, you brought forth the recommendation. But now that a motion's on the floor and it's been properly seconded, he'll actually be the one to repeat the question, which means he's going to say what we're voting on, whether it's the new one or the used one, or, or you know, whatever the details are. You'll restate what we're voting on. And then you'll move forward and take a vote. So, go oh, for it, Tyler. Do we have any more questions first? Mm -hmm. uh, I will just one statement on the 100 watts. Uh, it is pretty common and commercial for the <coughs> guy here in town that does do. Watt amps on his reviewers. They use this free weight test. So I guess we have a motion. Motion and a second. Okay. All right. All right. So we have a motion and it has been seconded for the club to purchase the new Motorola SLR 5700 with the five-year warranty uh, from North Georgia Communications with them not charging us tax. So uh, we will now vote on that. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. The ayes have it, and the uh, court has given us permission to move forward with this purpose. Okay, with that being said, before our uh, Mr. Baker gets up here to present, let us take a five minute break. Get up. If you need some water, get some water. If you need to utilize the facilities, utilize the facilities, and we'll reconvene at. 750. Uh, oh, yes, and Pat, uh, I'm sorry, if you'd like. Sign the card.